Mr. Sandman signing back in this shit. What's going on? February 4th entry. This is what I have to talk about right now. The Lil' Kim and Nicki Minaj beef. What can I say? Like, I'm not going to lie. Both of them, very lyrical. I love, uh, I love both of their music, to tell you the truth, you know. Always been a fan of Lil' Kim for a very long time. Always been a fan of Nicki Minaj ever since she was in the mixtape circuit. You know, like, to me, I, I don't know. I don't know who'd win, to say the truth. Because both of them is very lyrical, you know. And, like, Roman's Revenge was good. Black Friday was great, you know. I just say that why don't you just have them battle on pay per view? Hey, fuck it. You know what I mean? Either uh, they spit, you know, spit sixteen bars ever for three rounds. Have let them have a broad panties match. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Unless you do it. Well, you know, to me, like I say that the low Kim should just. You know, just to step aside. You know, let 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 her get her shot. You saying that she's trying to be like you or imitate you? To tell you the truth, I don't really, I don't, I really don't see it that much, because you referring to the crotch shot. You know, like everybody knows the infamous Lil Kim crotch shot, the shit, the poster for the hardcore album. You didn't invent that pose. You know what I'm saying? You just made it popular. To tell you the truth. Like, I've seen plenty of strippers do that pose. It's nothing new to me, you know? And I'm not going to lie. Nikki made it look better. Because not only did she do that pose, she was sucking on a lollipop. Shit. That's two thumbs up for me. <laughs> Word. Shit. I'll just say that, like, I don't think this beef is really going to be, like, resolved in any way. It just might dissolve. Like, everybody will just ignore it after a while. Because, like, I say this, like, if people want to, like, really battle, why don't they just have, have it like wrestling? Have them go on a pay-per-view and really battle. Like, like let's, let's put all the critics to bed. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's put the mic skills to the test. What it, like, it's, it's helping your album. I'll say that. Like, it's going to help your album or whatever. But that's the thing, though. It might not help your album if you lose. Hmm. That's probably why they don't do that. That's stupid, though. Like, even if you do lose, if you come out with some hard 16s, then it won't even matter if you lose. You still held your ground. Like, I don't know what's up with these rappers nowadays. Everything is just political now. You feel me? You know? I remember back in the day, if you thought you was better than the next person, y'all had to battle. Either it was breakdancing or rapping or DJing. You had to battle to really prove if you, that you're better. Nowadays, they just want to be like, Ew, I'm just going to make a little diss track about you in my own little private studio. And then every time I see you, I'm just going to duck and hide. Come on, man. Like, come on, cut the bullshit out. But in my opinion, I really don't know who would win that, that face-off. I would love to see it, though, to tell you the truth. Because I think both of them are some real good female MCs. They, they, you know, they bring something to the table, you know? They like trendsetters, so, to, so they call it, you know? I just um, heard um, Pink Friday. Eh, eh, I give it a 2.5 out of 5, you know? Uh, cause the, the the beats and shit is really not uh, it's not really up to par, especially coming from Cash Money. I like these dudes. I known these dudes for coming out with some hard beats. Them beats that they gave us, like them shits was recycled. Like that was supposed to be for Lil Wayne's album, and it was like you know what, Lil Wayne just threw them away and gave them to Nicki. Like Nicki just found them shits in the trash. Like ooh beats. <laughs> I don't know, but. You know what I'm saying? That's my bottom line on that, man. I don't know who'd win that battle. But I say this, the edge the edge does go to Nikki because Nikki is is you know, she's she got the the the, the young the young girls and all that following her and she got all the dudes following her. Like she dudes love her. Lil' Kim, she got the experience. 
at the same time, she's no, she, she's not, she's not in the public eye like how she used to. You feel me? So you know how the public is. We we tend to forget very quickly about who you are. You know what I'm saying? You could be, you could be somebody yesterday, and then today, you ain't shit. You already know how it is. That's how the game go. No, I'm just signing off for right now, man. I'm going to come back with some more movie reviews. And I'll holla at you. Peace out, my dudes. Yeah.